What's going on guys, it's your boy Bolt Ratty here and um, today I'm bringing you another Cinema 4D tutorial. Uh, I promised you another tutorial out this week and uh, it happens to be the next day after. So uh, today we're basically creating uh, moving text in Cinema 4D. Like uh, if you have a cinematic and you want text on it but you just don't want it to be motion tracked, you want to have like some effects on it, you know. Uh, well, basically, we're going to be creating the moving text that you see in some edits. So, basically, let's get started. Um, if you don't know how to motion track already, go to my last tutorial. And I give you a basic explanation on uh, how to motion track. Uh, it's pretty good. Uh, I did that in about an hour or so, editing it wise and uh, whatever. But anyways, let's get started. Let's open up your uh, project. I'm going to go ahead and open up the project I made yesterday. I believe this is it. Okay, let's see. oh, I didn't want to open that. Okay, one second. I'm just gonna go ahead and open a uh, different project up. I didn't mean to save that. Okay, so basically, what you want to do is uh, open your, you're gonna start off with this. You want to basically delete these. I don't know why I have these in here. Uh, I don't even understand. Anyways, let's just create a new material. Go in, turn specular off. Go in and put your video clip in. Uh, not this. Whoops. Not Dropbox. I'm going to go ahead and put your skid row clip in. Is this it? No, this is not it. I have two skid row maps. Um, what the heck? Skid row. Okay, was it skid row one? No. Okay. So basically you want to create your background and go ahead and find it, drag it in. You'll see this. Go ahead and put some text in there. We'll go to text object. Name it whatever. We'll name it Ratty. Make sure this is middle. Font, choose whatever you want. We'll do Baybas. Uh, I'll do this about 2,000. Yeah, that should be fine. We'll do... Yeah, that should be fine. I'll scale it up a bit. And then... I'm gonna go ahead and move this up like this. Go back to the text object, make the depth a little bit bigger. We'll do about that. Turn some caps on, fill it cap, fill it cap. Um, go ahead and move this up a bit. Move this over, up, okay. We'll do about 50. Let's see how 50 is. Preview, all right, whatever. Let's go ahead and make the depth a little bit bigger. We'll do about 500. Okay. Just drag this up. It's not going to be perfect, but you just need to mess around with it. This is going to be for uh, just text-wise. I mean, uh, tutorial-wise. So just go on and do your normal stuff. Drag the floor. Cinema 4D tags. Sating. Check that. Okay. You should have it like that. Go on and drag some shadows in. We're going to go ahead and do this up shadow shadow map soft 75 Whew, that's a little too much Go ahead and bring this up. remember you just got to play around with the shadow uh, all right whatever it's not gonna look perfect I mean you just need to mess around with the light um, then we'll go ahead, whatever, we'll just leave it how it is. But I just want to get to the basic text portion on keyframing. Uh, so basically what you want to do is go over here, press C on your keyboard as in cat, and you should get it like your text like this. So basically what you want to do is drag all this down until you get to the letters. And basically what you want to do is go to a point in your, uh, go to a point in your, cinematic where you want the text to all form together so we'll go about to the middle we'll do about 500 so type in 500 right here and it should go to this so basically what you want to do is go ahead and click this this little key this little key it's on your left side it's a little key on uh, recording the position you want to make sure your R is clicked and you have to do this for every single one make sure the R is clicked hit this little key and it'll keyframe it Go to the A, do the same thing, key, do the T, same thing for this T, and the Y. 
And basically, uh, what you do now is go ahead and change this to zero. And your text will look exactly the same, but this is the portion where we, we move it to what we want. So uh, we'll just rotate it like this. And basically, after you do the rotation on one text, you want to hit the key again. So you want to make sure you're at the zero. After you do the rotation, you want to hit the key. You want to go to the A. We'll do about, uh, we'll just do this. You want to hit the key. Go to the T. Do the same thing. Hit the key. Do the T again. Hit this. And the Y. And hit this. And so basically, if you go like midway through, you go to about 300. You can see your text is starting to form together. And this is basically the whole entire concept of the project. Um, that's basically it. I mean, you just need to mess around with it and uh, whatnot. You can have more than one text layer. If you put like uh, Bolt Ratty, you do the same exact thing. You just need to do it. You just got to take more time on it. Uh, but basically, just all you got to do is do the same render settings. Just save as whatever you want. Make sure this is on and quick time movie anti aliasing make sure it's on best and then animation output do all frames or whatever you want you just change this two part to about 500 is where we ended it at then you just go ahead and click this and then it'll just render it out that's basically how you do it um, let me go ahead and show you an example of what we basically created now i know i kind of went a I kind of went quick through this. If you have any questions, please feel free to message me on YouTube. Um, I'll be more than happy to give you guys my Skype. Mm, uh, I can't give it to you through here because uh, I just don't like doing it because it says my personal name and whatnot. But basically, whoops. Basically, this is what we created. Uh, it's not as complex, but it's basically the same thing, somewhat. And then when you import into After Effects, had optical flares or something, you want to speed it up or do whatever you have to. Get it! Come be in a music video! But this is basically what you created. If you did it right, you should have a nice style like this. But anyways, thanks for watching guys and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.